on our way to the airport. Going to Boston, Massachusetts for a client meeting. Gonna meet my co-founder for the first time in person. So stay tuned. Flying Spirit, the world's cheapest airline. Just landed in Boston. Going over to International, gotta go find Robert. Said he was at a bakery. Let's see if he's out here. He's back, he's playing three. Let's see where he is. Little does he know, I don't have a bag. There he is. Oh, man. Is this live? Hey. This is not live. <laughs> How are you? How are you? How are you? Give me a hug. So we're here in Boston, and Robert. Hey. What's the <laughs> secret of life, dude? What's the secret of living a, a good life? The secret of living a good life. Find out what you like doing and just do that for the rest of your life, I think. Yeah, just, just, just how do you do that? Well, the best part is try as many things as you can. Uh, figure it out and the most important is pick good people to do it with because shitty people always ruin your day. Just pick better people. Heard it here first. Hustle never stops. About to do a paid consult. Thinking, talking with Alex about how we're we're like in a in a random neighborhood. I mean, I'm sure this is richer than most others, but even so, it's just so weird that Americans complain so much. Like whenever you look at the news, they complain about this and that and this. And like, dude, just, you have an amazing life. You, you should come to to like a, a town in Romania to see to see like the, the amount of poverty you get to to witness sometimes. And even here, you just go to whatever place and you won't really see anyone that is literally dying of hunger because anyone can get support from the government it's just stop complaining seriously just it's so amazing here you literally should, should like see like be grateful for what you have and go from there and start building from there robert's grinding away creating the presentation you're gonna present tomorrow pumped up man of course <laughs> the moments in which you're defined like how good you are in sales or whatever role you have like for example i'm not dealing with um let's say rejection quote unquote uh, because we work we contacted the company we really want to work with and the company says that they already have suppliers in the areas in which we offer services but i i'm trying to explain and i will continue the discussion with them that our goal is not to replace their current suppliers because they're obviously doing an incredible job that's why we want to work with them because their marketing is on par um, their their website looks amazing etc our goal now is to see if there is any way in which we can augment the current um, let's say the current business processes that they're dealing with whether it's in marketing or whether it's human resources etc and if I really manage to engage in a conversation with the client, have them have me on the list of whomever they contact whenever they need something, and I keep following up maybe every two months, etc. that client will eventually be ours. And that, that's the, the important part of account-based selling. If you really want a client, you just keep after it. Just because they tell you, no, I don't want anything right now, doesn't mean that they don't want anything six months from now or a year from now. Business is patience. If you want to build something big, you literally need to keep at it, keep at it until you get to the position you want. We're headed out to the presentation and Robert is wearing the fanciest suit I've ever seen. Look at that. He is a grade A businessman. Robert, any tips on dressing for success? Always look it up on the internet. Just, just don't don't think you know how to dress just look it up or ask someone or and when you get the suit make sure it's always molded to your body it looks like a million dollar suit after so the reason we're out in boston is for a client review we're looking over the project over the last quarter seeing how we do and actually uh, what i what i want to implement going forward is some kind of review process for all of our accounts i actually really like the idea of sitting down looking as an outsider, how you're doing, and breaking it down. So, if this one goes well, hopefully there's gonna be a lot more in the future. Hey Robert, how'd the meeting go? <laughs> one, one great, one great. 
had a lot of back and forth regarding ideas, brainstormed, presented everything we had. All, all in all, we have um, a much better picture of what we're gonna do. And uh, in the months that, that go along from, from now in, I think we have like a, a better chance of, of having success with the, uh, how we call it, with the channels we, we choose from now on. You think the suit paid off? I don't know. I like it. So <laughs> for me, it personally paid off. Thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe for more videos like this, more B2B sales training. Like to encourage this type of content. And if you need marketing support for your digital agency, check out experiment27.com. Thanks.